Uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you need on DigiKey.com. This one comes from A Z Tweet Eek Post. I know. Uh, yeah. What is it? What is it? Z it, a tweet a post. It's a request. We're gonna do it. It's a request. Okay, so this person, Daniel. Um, has a 3D printer and it looks like it says like Z or Y next to it. So I think this is one of the motors um, for the gantry of the 3D printer. And, you know, whatever, maybe they just yanked the wrong way or got bumped, uh, but the connector came off. And I think two of the legs of the connector came off too. And that's why they didn't just solder the connector back on. They actually need a new connector. And they were like, what is this? Um, and apparently the schematics weren't published yet or the part wasn't published or maybe they couldn't find it. And so I thought this is another great example of uh, let's try to find this part on DigiKey. Um, I think that's like we've been we've been doing a couple of these, um, and we'll we'll try to do it live. I did I did find it, so I can always backtrack. But let's go to uh, uh, the computer and we'll uh, try to locate it. Okay. So we want to have this is a wire board, and then oh, so can you flip back to it really fast? that um well i'll ask you to flip back and forth and maybe a couple of times because i don't have it so it's like how do what you know i want to prove what it is so it's a rectangular connector and you can see by the pads that it's got two mounting pads and four um connection pads so it's a four pin connector and the second thing you need to know is the pitch and i'll say that it's actually kind of hard to tell the pitch except one thing i do know is that to the right there was some point one pin spacing and uh, like to the right of the capacitor, all the way to the right of the capacitor, there's some pads and those are 0.1 inch and these are definitely closer. So I'd say these are like two millimeter or less. It, it might be like 1.5 millimeter, but it's definitely not more than 2.5 millimeter pitch because uh, the, the pads are closer together than those pins. Okay, so back to the computer. Okay, so um, four pin connector and uh, we know that the pitch is less than two. We're going to start, or 2.5. We're going to start by just looking for rectangular. We're going to learn how to spell rectangular connectors. Um, because it is, it's like literally a rectangle. So the only thing to, to watch out for is, you know, there's this, um, a lot of these categories, when they were started, it was like people used headers only or like very header-like devices. So it was like, oh, it's a female had a receptacle socket and then there was like a plug pin you know mail and with that connector it's a little bit unclear like you know is it a receptacle or male female whatever however uh you know we'll start with that and then we'll we'll move on so we know that we're gonna look for let's do the stuff we know we know it's active it's available right now we know it's a one row four pins and positions loaded, I'm going to say all and the dash and four. Um, pitch, you know, we're not 100% sure, but we know it's less than 2.5. So, and it's, I know it's not one millimeter because that's a, that's like a JSTSHs are tiny. Um, so let's apply. So that takes it down from 230,000 to 700. So it's a lot better. So let's look what we got here. Okay, so we're actually starting to get like these are these are much more familiar. Can you uh, flip flip back to the um, the ZEET? Okay, so I think what I'm going to look for is first off, it's a vertical SMT, and it's got this little like groove in the middle and these two notches. It makes it look like a little bit of a happy face if you're looking kind of like a smiley face. So uh, go you know, come back to um, to the uh, computer. Okay, so uh, let's look for, you know, normally stocking. So that at least gets us down from 700 to 135. And then um, we want its surface mount. And it's confusing. Right angle would be pointing out. We want pointing up, which is normal surface mount. I'm like 99% sure. So let's pick that. Now we're down to 38 options. And um, some of these are looking really good. So these are definitely not it. We want like shrouded. So like these, these are shrouded connectors. So let's go up and look if there is a setting for shrouded. I don't know if there is. We might just have to ignore those. I think we have to just figure out the, the mating pitch. That one's, you know, again, it's challenging. I think it's less, I think, yeah, it's like 1.27 or 1.5. I don't think it's 
two five. So I'm actually going to get rid of that because that's that's very close. Um, yeah, there's no shrouding. So we'll just we're going to all the ones that look like header down here. Like we're just going to ignore these. These are like receptacle. Oh, these are called forked. Well, oh, that's interesting. Oh, you know what? Like that's that's what we want. We want forked. Because you see how these are all very similar. They have the little like notch in the middle and the two glue grooves. These are called forked connectors. So let's um, let's select forked. I, this is like I, need, I learned a new thing today. Fork. Okay. Okay. Great. This will get us down to eight. Okay. So these are all in the same family. So these are the clickmates. So that's or mini tech. Um, so now I'm going to try to figure out which one it is. Now, I'll say it's definitely not this one. It's definitely not this one. So it's like this one maybe um this one maybe or this one or this one and the difference is so actually you know what let's try comparing them i will say I've, this is risky i've not done this before it's not well is it could be this one it could be that one and not that one let's compare these five okay so these are different so it looks like there's a couple different families there's clickmate 502 family clickmate 4502433 there's different the mating pitches are different this is two and then these are 1.5 and then insulation color is slightly different and the insulation height is slightly different okay so one thing i'll say is I don't think it's this mini tech. Let's look at it. Although this could be a compatible piece. Let's look at the data sheet real fast. This looks like it's a compatible part, but it's got, yeah, it's got the little leggies. It could be that, but I think the more likely thing is, I think it's not, two millimeter pitch i think it's 1.5 so i think it's one of you know one of these four and honestly have you know having calipers would help a lot and i think these are all very similar these are the two same family and this looks also very similar in the family this one yeah it's tough to tell the difference forked what's the i guess it's like slightly different uh connectivity oh this is a high voltage rating i guess and these are not as high voltage so i think these two are the same i think these are just one is um this one might be the vertical one let's look at the 360. okay another thing to notice is that a lot of these connectors they have both vertical and like they have right angle and vertical style and it's the same package but it's like they just bend the pins a little bit differently so this one it could be this you know this looks very promising this one has a little notch whether which one it is actually i'll tell you what i would do if i was the you know this person who was trying to um to to figure out which one it is I'd actually purchase two of each of these ones and then like fit test them with the cable to see which one because it's hard to like know for sure and they're about a dollar a piece so given that you know i don't i don't have this board so i don't you know i can't fit test it i think i would get these these four pieces i would pick up you know two of each and try them and you know if they if they work great if i don't i have a couple extras but at least you know it's cheaper than um you know getting a whole new motherboard design but if i had to pick one it was like okay you have to pick one because you only get one pick for the great search it would be this one because there's the most in stock and i have found that whenever you go with the item that has the most in stock you're most likely to win <laughs> if you're if you're going to roll the dice uh that's how i roll the dice so this is my pick for the great search I believe even though it's photographed uh, right angle, it's a vertical connector. Um, I think this one should work for uh, repairing that uh, 3D printer motherboard. And that's a great search.